You are looking at someone who has been within 2,000 feet of Selena Gomez. Well, hello there! Welcome to What's Happening, where in this episode of the series term series used loosely because I don't know. I'm going to try to avoid getting all real and deep and blech like I did last time. So, with hopes of that happening, I'm going to start with the bad stuff and then go into the really good stuff because there's a lot of good stuff. As you may or may not know, I work at the Milwaukee County Zoo. Now, while I love the zoo, I hate my job. I absolutely hate it. The only reason that I show up is for a select few people that I can stand to work with that also work there with me. Truth be told, I'm fairly certain none of the people at work even like me. I feel like they just tolerate me because I show up to work and they have to. But I don't know, maybe they like me? It's hard to explain why I feel like they don't like me. You, you would just have to be there. I don't know, maybe they do like me and I don't even know because I need constant reassurance from my friends that they don't hate me. I'm insecure! There! There's your sad, real, deep part of this video. Now onto the good stuff, because I went to Summerfest! Now I know! Crazy! A guy who loves Milwaukee as much as myself, who's never been to Summerfest before? That's unheard of! This is my first time going to Summerfest, and actually, my first time ever going to a live concert. I live under a frickin' rock, guys! And the concert was amazing! I loved it! I love Milwaukee. I love downtown. The fact that Summerfest is in downtown Milwaukee. I got to see the sunset over the skyline. It was beautiful. The music was loud and it was cool and great and wonderful. We saw Fitz and the Tantrums and I'm pretty sure one of the lead singers made eye contact with me at least twice. Another thing that I loved about Summerfest and didn't expect at all, the shops there are so freaking cool! Like, they're into the whole spiritual, like, smells and smoke and, and trinkets and, and oils and smells and scents and, like, aromatherapy and, like, hippie shops. It was like, I felt like I was in a whole nother world. I was like, this is so cool! Another good thing, I only spent $21 at Summerfest. Let me show you what I bought. I got this cool trinket, it's a trilobite, and inside... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Alright, so crap, I lost the cork, but... The scent is Sagittarius. Now, I don't know exactly what's in that, but I'm a Sagittarius, so I'm just calling it my natural scent. Good news, I found the cork. If you smell the cork... It's even better and stronger, I think. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. But here it is. They had at least a hundred options of different scents that you could put in at least 20 options of trinkets. And I was like, oh my god. But this guy, his family has been making the oils like family made for 38 years. I'm like, that is so cool! I got this incense. 12 sticks for one dollar! There's a whole bunch of them. I got a bunch of frankincense. I got eucalyptus. I got one that's called Kush because that's funny to me. I am going to be using this to be a calmer-like person. Yeah, but Summerfest was really cool! And the concerts were even cooler! It was super loud, though. Like, I knew it was going to be loud, but it, my ears, nothing could have possibly prepared me for what how loud this was going to be. Let me show you our seats also because we were in the second row right in front of the speakers. That clip was the guys before the fits and the tantrums, like the opening guys. They were called like first ticket or finish ticket something ticket. And they were pretty good. Uh, the guys before them, Generation Z, they were from Milwaukee. They were also pretty good. They were really cool. They did um, Daft Punk, and this guy had like this thing that made his voice sound like it was auto-tuned. It was really cool. But then the fits and the tantrums came on. It was amazing. Here's the beginning, like the first thing, how they started off their concert, which was amazing. <laughs> And then they played my favorite 
good song by them because the three days before Summerfest, I just listened to only them and only their songs to like kind of learn the words so that I could somewhat sing along. Didn't work out too well. But this is my favorite song by them. It's called Complicated. <laughs> song of right now. I've heard it on the radio a few times and it's like their big hit. Like it's their their new album and they've got it like it's the big one of the album so it's called Hand Clap. You may know it. So there's a brief small window into the kind of music that I'm into. And then the firework show. Hands down, best firework show I've ever seen in my life. It was even better than the fireworks that I saw this year at the 4th of July. I also went opening day, which is why I was within 2,000 feet of my celebrity crush, Selena Gomez. Absolutely. Wish I could have gone in there, but it's an extra, like, 40 bucks, so... Eh. Being within 2,000 feet was acceptable. So, that's what's happening. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hugs to all. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.